Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey and Sunshine at Home. Uh, today I'm going to go down the driveway and try to clear out around an apple tree that I found uh, while exploring down the driveway a little bit. Um, this was last year I found it and I trimmed a little bit and decided that I was going to go back again and trim a few trees. I got a new tool uh, for my birthday in June that is uh, pretty cool and good for that stuff. Um, the only thing is I didn't charge the battery, so we'll see how that goes. It's, it's not a very large capacity battery, so we'll see what happens with that. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go down and see what we can do, clean it up a little bit, make it a little neater, make it a little easier to plow around, and see how pretty we can make it, or at least open up so the sun can get to it a little more. So stick around if you'd like to see it. We'll see you in a bit. So this is what I have. I have some goodies to work on the driveway. So let's start on this end because my favorite's on the other end, but we'll start on this end. I just got some loppers, you know, for some brush around and my gloves in case I need them. I don't use them a lot unless there's prickles and stuff, but there's really not, not many down here, but I may end up using it. This long saw is just a pole saw. I have no idea how long it is. 10 feet? maybe um, eight feet. I don't know. We have an extension that goes on it, but right now I don't have it on there. So you see the holes. I don't have it on there because it's a lot for me to handle and I'm not going to cut anything that long right now. Um, it, I may, might not even use it today. I'm not sure. I know there's a couple of trees when we plow that get to be a problem in the winter. So um, I thought I may grab, you know, cut those off while I'm here, but who knows? Next thing is my Sawzall. Yes, I use a Sawzall. I cut down trees with it. I cut down problem stumps with it. And this blade that is on it, both of these blades, <laughs> it's pretty rough and it doesn't cut very good. Um, so I think I've used the crap out of it and it just doesn't want to cut anymore. So I brought down some more, uh, some more blades just to see which one would work. These are all wood. One's, uh, one or two are wood and metal. Um, one's nail embedded wood. And this one is a new, a different one that I hadn't used before. This is a curved one, but it's for wood. So I thought I might try that. I kind of like the teeth on it. It's nice and grabby. So we'll see what happens with that. And then, like I said, then this one is wood and metal. The teeth aren't all that um, big on it, but it may work. Who knows? I don't know. I try things. Hubby just shakes his head at me, but that definitely works really, really well for problem stuff. Have my battery. It's only got a couple bars on it. Um, about dead because I used it last night for some stuff. So I brought an extra, which this one's got three bars instead of four. So that's okay. I'm not going to be doing a whole heck of a lot down here. So, um, that should be plenty for me. It goes quite a while. This is a Milwaukee Sawzall, by the way. Love Milwaukee tools. We have a bunch and all the same batteries go in them and it works great. Then last but not least, my fave. Just got this for my birthday in June. This is a little steel chainsaw. Isn't that adorable? It is fun. It's light. It's lightweight. I have arthritis and it does not hurt my hands to hold that baby. Isn't that cute? It's got a little battery. It's battery powered. A little battery back here. Don't think I can get it out with my one hand, but I brought my down my oil because you got to lube your, your, uh, your bar and your chain. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think it's a four inch 
I think that's a four inch far with this super cute little chain on it. You unscrew this and it cleans out. I've been using this quite a bit. Look at this tiny little cover for it. Isn't this adorable? Anyway, <laughs> goo goo gaga. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, use that. It doesn't have a lot of battery left because, again, I used it last night for some stuff. Cut down some limbs and up by the house, and the chickens are loving that today. But I have my oil, have my extra battery. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this, on this steel chainsaw. I've got to uh, figure out right now how long um, it lasts me because I've seen people complain about how long the battery lasts. For me, it's fine because I don't do like marathon runs. I think it's about 20 minutes and then I charge it for 45 maybe, take a break, clean up my brush, and then come back and get it, hook it back up and go again. Um, so, but I'm going to get all that stuff down for you and we'll do just a review on that. Um, I'll have hubby with it with me because he's really good at remembering all that, all the numbers and whatever, you know, whatever you need for it and all that. But, um, I'll do my best to let you know about it so far. I love it. So those are my tools today and I have a bottle of water and I'm going for it. See you back here in a minute. Water green here today. We had some rain last night, about a quarter inch. Um, so lots of green. But I thought I'd show you. So this is the the uh, apple tree. There's actually a little little one there in front of it. And I'm not sure what to do with if I should dig it up and put it somewhere else or just let it grow. I don't know. I'd love to put it up by the house because this is down the driveway ways. So um, I'd love to have it up by the house, even if it doesn't do anything. It's kind of getting roughed up by the plow, and that's kind of why I wanted to, if you can see on here, all this here. And so it's getting scum up, and I don't even know how that's going to do with that. But I love it. I love it. I didn't know I had one. So, two, the left of it is all this brush. You're going to hear traffic. We're near the road. So if you hear it, sorry. Um, so all this brush. So I'd like to cut it back a little bit. Get rid of some of it. See if we can walk through here without tripping. And there's a tree there. All this brush here. And he's kind of hanging over the apple tree. But yeah, so... That's what I'm going to do. See if I can clear that up so we can get even more air to it. I mean, I've done quite a bit, um, but it's grown in again because I did, I did this last year. So anyway, enough of that. I got to get to work before that sun burns out, burns through and comes out and cooks me. All right, be back. I put a little oil on the blade. on the chain. It's in there good. Here. So we're gonna use this first, because it's probably gonna run out of battery pretty quick. But that's okay. I like this. battery in that than I thought. Battery power left. Nada. Oh, a little bit, but not enough to cut down a tree. So I guess I'm going to the Sawzall. Oh, well. Trying the curved blade because I like the teeth on it. We'll see.
only thing I don't like is it jumps around in your hand and vibrates so bad. But I do like that I can cut and if I lose control and gets in the dirt, it's okay. It's all right. It doesn't mind it. Choose it right up. My sweatiness is break take a break but I just found in the I don't know if I think it's up against me and that brush it's like a little probably had a light on top and it's hung on the wall so a little tidbit I do crafts this isn't the first time I found stuff out here that I've used in my crafts dolled it all up and sold them this one i don't know i gotta clean it up and see what i got i know i got some good rustiness on there i don't know if you can see that look at that that is so cool it'd be really cool if i found the other one a little pear would be awesome Whew. okay incentive to keep digging right uh. Ooh. Okay, back to it. Okay, I didn't totally finish, but I finished up the brush for the most part. I gotta take a break. But I found some cool stuff while I was out here. We have a lot of mushrooms. I got these. I don't remember what they're called, something like smoking pipes or something like that. But aren't those cool? They're so neat. I don't know if you can eat them. I wouldn't try. Really. But another mushroom. I don't know. And there's some more pipes in the woods there. But that one's pretty weird. It's like, what is that red thing? Let's see if I can get closer. Without breaking my neck. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe somebody knows what that is. Crazy. And then there's something right there in the middle of the screen, a little white ball. And then of course those, I don't know, smoking pipes. That's what I call them because they kind of look like pipes sticking out of the ground. Oh, and here's another something. It's a flat, flat one. And a bunch of mushrooms. Opened up my pretty little apple tree that probably isn't going to do a darn thing. I just see another that tree leaning. It's kind of leaning out because it's trying to get some sunlight. I don't blame it. But it's kind of going to, as it grows anymore, it's going to lean over my tree. Hopefully that wasn't too boring with all my, my gear and 
I'm bummed that I didn't get the chance to show you more of my my chainsaw because that was really lame what I did with it. But it's going to, uh, I'm going to, I'll show you. I'll get all the information as far as how long it lasts um, for me anyway. And I'll show you what size, because it all depends on what size trees you're trying to cut also. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to do firewood with it. We have, Hubby does the firewood cutting with his big chainsaw and uh, stuff like that. So he won't need that. But I did get this awesome find. I may go dig around and see if I can find another one. It'll be so cool. Look at that thing. It's rust and it's pretty good shape. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's some kind of metal. Enamel, I don't know what it is, but that's pretty awesome. I'm going to sign off here because I'm sweaty and hot and uh, need a drink and I'll go edit this and get it up so you guys can check it out. <laughs>